let's go ahead and just get started. It is 9.18. I know I set the time to start a little later, but the sooner we get started, the sooner we can start playing and I can spend more time with you guys. So welcome to the first episode of Let's Build. This time we're going to be focusing on getting all of the meta bow builds out of the way. I want to have a better understanding of the bows. The bows and the dual blades, the bows and the dual blades. So one of the things I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a little bit of research. I'm going to be looking up some really good speedrunners, seeing what they're using, and we're going to try these builds out ourselves live. You can see me get carried by my excellent teammates, and you can see me bringing them down and dying, <laughs> and then complaining about it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So tonight, I say we're going to work on a water bow build, and I already have one pulled up. This one is by SSH. He had a terrific run with the Silver Rathalos, and I'm going to go ahead and steal that build, basically. I'm going to steal it. <laughs> All right, so I need the Laguna shot. So some of the things we're going to be doing in this live stream is actually building what we need because I probably don't have it. So fair chance I don't have what I need to get this bow built. Forge equipment, weapons. Let's go look up the bows. I probably don't have the Laguna bow. Oh, that's Legiana. I read that wrong. How's it going, everyone? This is going to be a busy live stream. We're going to get as much as we can done. Laguna Bow, where is it? Wait, is it going to be under Water Element? There it is, Laguna Shot. Okay, so this is the bow we're building. And in fact, it looks like I do not own it. Let's go ahead. Oh, and of course, I don't have what we need. We need Gyrotodus Grandfin and Gyrotodus Shard times 6. So I think that's Master Rank stuff. We're going to have to fight Gyrotodus. And I tell you what, we'll just use the weapon we already have on our back. We're going to grind up that Gyrotodus into uh, Fish Powder and get the parts we need. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. How's it going, everyone? It's always awkward starting a stream because it's like, I'm getting the stream ready and I'm totally quiet. You know, I'm not talking to anyone. I'm not saying anything. And then I hit the live button and it's all, all of a sudden I just need to be talkative and start talking. So it's like this weird flip. Whoa, look at this Beatotus rewards. Whoa, those are pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to grab that one. Okay, so let's go by tar Oop, not completed condition. Target, Gyrotodus. We do have some master rank Gyrotodus. Here's one. Here's one with gold. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go for this one. All right, sweet. Coral Pukey Pukey Bow. How's it going, fan? Fan, the most informative mod. Aiden says, oh, hey, didn't see it was Xbox. Sorry, man, can't join this one. Still going to watch it at least until my girlfriend wakes up. Then I got to go. Then I got to go because we going to go. Enough said. Wink. Uh, they're going to go to Walmart, guys. That's what he means by that. All right, let's go to Investigations. And we'll scroll down. Oh, right, Gyrotodus. See, I'm such an airhead once I've gone live. <laughs> once I've gone live, I start talking to you all. <laughs> I've noticed. I have this habit of, um, once we're live, I have this habit of being so engaged with you guys that what's happening in the game is more like, that's passive. That's what's happening in the background. But the conversation being had in the chat room with you guys is what, that's what my brain's like actively working on. It's a really bad habit of mine because it, it, it causes me to play like garbage. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta not do that so much. Gotta push it to the limit. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Let's see if we're growing. We haven't been on Xbox in a while. So let's see. Mandragoras, huh? No problem. Go ahead and collect these. Okay, we've got 2,000 of them, so we're not in any trouble on them. Let's go ahead and use a soft soil. Oh, I wish you could buy, like, more... For I wish you could buy, like, fertilizer times 40 at a time. And it would just tell you when the fertilizers ran out without having to talk to them. Grab the meat platter. Lion says... Hi, how's it going, Lion the, the Fire Dragon? Fan says, probably four-piece loss in Garuga Legs. Let's see. That's probably exactly it. He has the Flood Charm. He has, oh, actually no. So he, he does have four piece silver Rathalos, but no Garuga legs. He went ruinous Vambraces to get attack boost four. Huh. Whoa, did he not build any crit eye? What? So this guy, I really do trust him, is, is SSH. And it looks like he didn't build any, he didn't build any crit eye at all. What? I don't understand. Why did he not build any? Huh, we'll take a look into that later. Wow, he got a great time on the run, too. The, the run was only like two minutes long. Go ahead and click this button. Stand by for departure. I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about the bow, because I don't. 
uh, the bow, the dual blades, insect glaive, a lot of weapons I had gotten really good at in the base game. I really don't know much about them in the Iceborne expansion. I've been focusing on the heavy bow guns, which is the weapon I enjoy the most. But I feel like we've figured out the heavy bow guns for the most part, and even the light bow guns. So I'm ready. I'm really ready to kind of, you know, expand into the weapons I don't play as often, and that's what we're doing now. Alan says, "Does the developer diary come out tomorrow?" No, it's not tomorrow, is it? Oh, wait, it could be. I'll wait for Fan to say something, because I always get the time zones wrong. Time zones for Japan, they're like a day ahead. All right. He can't roar me off. Two, three. I love the, uh, the little blue electrical shot you get. Please, please hit the wall. Oh, he did. Nice. Not really going to get a full attack out here, but this will be fine. Dude. Master rank Gyrotodus. Of course I don't have much of his parts. You never really have to fight him too much. Woo! I love the hammer, such a fun weapon. Got him. <laughs> there we go, the head's softened now. He says it's on Wednesday and Friday. Thanks, man. Wednesday and Friday. Tomorrow's Monday. Wait, where'd he go? Also, do I have to get Grandfin from these guys? I can't remember. These are those catfish, right? <laughs> we'll just gather from them real fast in case I did. Gajau. You don't use any stamina skills. What? With my hammer? Well, not with my hammer. With the uh, bow, you do. Steel Gajau Whisker. Oh my god. Whoop. It's one of the reasons why it's so nice to have a hammer player on your team, because he's so good at causing a uh, softened part on the monster's body, and softened parts are so valuable. Oh my gosh, am I in the mud? God damn it. Would you like to, but not nah, just dash juice and rations? One, two, three, four. Two, three. He's KO'd. Everyone loves KO. Three, four, and a fifth blow. Boop. Oh man, he must have a lot of health. Smack me in the head again. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought that would be like a roar. I think we got him in the head there. Oh, and he's off to the next location, of course. It's so weird. It feels like we're not doing any damage to him. Isn't that strange? We probably are doing a lot of damage. Maybe it's because, you know, I've never really fought Master Rank Gyrotodus, so I'm used to just taking the Master Rank weapons and running through all of the low rank, high rank monsters, but he's actually a master rank monster. He just looks like he's a low rank monster. God, man. 
Come on. There he is. He's KO'd. He's KO'd. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the last swing misses. That's the swing that does all the damage. All right, I'll let I'll let these guys fight fight them a little bit. I'm gonna go smack these catfish real fast. Ouch! Can't believe they actually hit me. Imagine having to fight like a uh, water elder dragon, and he like summons a bunch of Gajau the way that ancient Leshen summons a bunch of Jagras. Wouldn't that be funny? Dude, that'd be hilarious. Be like 50 Gajau in the water coming after you. You'd have to take that water movement skill. <laughs> They'd be like, oh my god, is that that must be a new move. I don't recognize that. That's a new move for sure. The SSH build is an affinity booster build, by the way. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so then we probably will go Garuga, Garuga Greaves. That makes sense. Very cool. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, we'll be sure to watch through the video next time, make sure we know what's going on. Oh, I think I just paralyzed Hentra. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought I got him. It's like, no, you didn't. Oh my god. There he goes. Nice job. All right. Gyrotodus captured. We'll grab this real fast. Ooh. The new hammer bow, lol. What? I actually do find the new move for useless fish oddly satisfying. I want a hammer bow. Makes sense since it's a speed run. Can't you make an effective bow build from Silver Wrath? Yeah. I think you generally do use Silver Rathalos for all of your bow builds. I don't know if there's exceptions. Let's take a look. So this guy, he brings the Ruinous Fan Braces for slightly more damage. The, the Attack Boost and the Agitator, I'm assuming, is coming from those. So we'll end up dropping those for Crit Eye because we're not going to build Affinity. We're not going to be bringing Affinity Booster and relying on that. We're going to be taking the Crit Eye for more consistent Affinity throughout the fight. He likes to use a Affinity Booster and Evasion Mantle, huh? Hmm. That's really interesting. Man, he must be getting tons of damage on that. I would highly recommend the Garuga build so you can just switch between bow and charms. Yeah, I agree. 205 says anything else is kind of niche. Raging headpiece and the rest silver loss. What? <laughs> what are you doing, kitty? My cat walks into the room and takes a hard look at me. <laughs> like she's she's thinking about something. Like, mm, do I want to come in here? <laughs> or like she's been caught, like I detected her. Animals are so funny. They only have like two modes, you know. They have like they're not they're not as complicated as human. They just have a few a few emotions and they're mostly based around like fear. <laughs> so let's see. Augment no no no. Upgrade forge. Weapon. Bow. And we'll jump over here. Water element. So we got the Gyrotodus Grandfin. We're still missing Gyrotodus Shard. So we're going to fight him a second time, everyone. And maybe we'll go a little bit faster if we use a bow gun. I don't know. The fight felt like it was going on for a while, didn't it? It's so funny. All I want is to kill these guys faster. It's crazy. It's because these fights are not really that challenging. They're more like we're just grinding them. Where's Gyrotodus? Here it is. Hopefully, you know, hopefully the new Black Elder Dragon, uh, or Black Dragon, or whatever he's called, hopefully he changes all that. Hopefully he makes you clutch your pearls and go, oh my god, I gotta have some defense, he's wrecking me. <laughs> Magda Gimenez, Loyal Thunder. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Big fan of this build. Love this build. Love it! <laughs> 
Grab the stolen. Can't believe this fat frick is my owner. <laughs> no, she's over by me now. She wants pets. How's, how's it going, kitty? She probably came in here because she wants me to groom her. Hey, kitty. She would have a lot of hairballs, and my wife and I started petting her more to help her out. We got Blade, Kozu Pain, and Hentray. Let's ready up. Throw him into the walls for more shards. Is the shard from Master Rank Jaiura? What? I don't know what you mean. Hey, Game Economist, I've been watching for a while and I just made it to Master Rank 1. Any advice? For Master Rank 1, you're going to be playing through the story. Try to pick up... There's some armor you can purchase from the Smithy. I would purchase that armor because it's going to give you a lot of bonus defense that the old armor sets don't have. And then as soon as you can, I would build the bone or the ore version of your weapon. Because those weapons are going to receive a huge damage boost for being Master Rank weapons. Calum oh, I was like in the middle of a yawn. Calumifragger says, is it more worth it to use Blast or Poison in Story Mode? Well, I feel like when I played through Story Mode, both on the Xbox and the PlayStation, honestly, it felt like you just... You just wanted to pound your way through no matter what you were fighting. Just, I just grabbed whatever the best bone or ore weapon was and I just beat my way through it. The story mode's never that challenging. There's probably one or two fights that are kind of tricky and that's about it. You could SOS for help probably. Um, you know, your your cat's got the Vigor Wasp with the Revive now. And I, I wouldn't be worrying about Blast versus Poison unless maybe... Trying to think, are there any good blast or poison early weapons? I don't think there are, honestly. I think the best early weapon is, for a lot of weapon classes, just whatever the bone weapon is for that weapon class. And that's it. So I would just go in there and pound him to death with the mediocre weapons. But as soon as you can defeat Shara Ishvalda, then you will probably want to start building for a Shara Ishvalda weapon. And that's going to carry you through the post-story game until you can really get into the meta weapons. For example, you can't really build the gold Raytheon weapons until you're further along. So Shara Ishvalda it is. Alright, we'll go this way. He's joining the bow master rank master race. So making all elements, but starting with water. Yep, we're going to make all the water, all the different elemental bows. In fact, if we get done with the water bow in time, uh, to have a few runs with it, and there's still plenty of time on the stream, we might move on to the next element. And I'll just update the name of the... Um, I'll just update the name of the uh, stream to say like water and thunder or something like that, right? Oh, jump down here. Kitty, what are you doing, kitty? All right. Oops. Oops. Not supposed to miss. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Did I not grab the correct item loadout? Oh, kill me, dude. I did not. Well, I tell you what. Actually, it kind of makes no sense to me. I thought we did grab the right item loadout. Oh, now my other kitty is in here and she's meowing. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Where is it? What? Do I not even... Oh, here it is. I do have a far caster. We're going to far cast out. We forgotfully or stupidly or whatever the word is, we, we did not bring the right ammo. Kitty, why are you meowing? We did bring the right item loadout. So wait, why was it saying uh, it's got the wrong... Sa is, uh, here, we'll grab this sticky ammo. We're going to have to update that item loadout. Make the water sword and shield... Sword and Shield will probably be one of the last weapons that I really spend a lot of time on. Uh, even on the base game, I didn't spend too much time on Sword and Shield. It just doesn't interest me a lot, unfortunately. I'm sorry if you're a big fan of Sword and Shield. Um, I don't really know what the redeeming qualities of it are. It's, you know, it's kind of like the Long Sword and the Great Sword and the Hammer and the, maybe the Insect Glaive. They're all kind of in that category of melee weapons where you use combinations on the monster, but... I don't, I don't really understand what it is the Sword and Shield does that's unique to the other weapons other than having less range and being a bit more complicated. 
you know, in terms of having to decide, well, do I go raw versus this monster, or do I go elemental versus this monster, right? And it's like, well, you could just have more range and not think about it. So, and I'm not just saying that to be mean about Sword and Shield. I, I, I noticed in the patterns for the weapon popularity, Sword and Shield generally does score poorly. Similar to, like, the Lance and the Hunting Horn, it's been one of those weapons that a lot of players aren't, aren't really using as much. And, you know, I'm very open-minded to, like, maybe trying to find ways to have more fun with it. And I probably will. Oh, I'm using my Sticky Ammo 2. I need to bring... There it is, Sticky Ammo 3. I'm, I'm open-minded to using it. I just, uh, there's so many, there's so many weapons that are actually already very popular to work with, and I'd like to focus on those first, because I actually just have more fun with those, too, like everyone else does. You didn't send me bread picks! You want bread picks? I don't like bread. I generally do not eat a lot of bread. Unless you're talking about cookies. That's a whole different story. Love cookies. Poor sword and shield. One. Oh, I like that he doesn't flop around. Poor sword and shield. Wow, that's a large gyre totus. Look how large he is. Kitty, why are you meowing? I think he just got paralyzed by the paralysis frog. Economist only plays meta weapons. No, that's not true either. I just, uh, that's not true at all, actually. I'm just not having as much fun with the sword and shield. I'm not. Um, the hack and slashes. Well, you can hack and slash with the switch axe. You can hack and slash with the long sword. You can hack and slash with, um, I don't know, the insect glaive. So it hack and slashes, and it can guard too, but every time I play sword and shield, I don't bother guarding, because I don't want to build... I don't want to build, like, guard up and guard with it, so I, I just try to iframe through the monster's moves, right? So I don't really use the shield. And then I don't really know what it's doing that's really unique from the other melee weapons. I don't think it's doing anything really unique, other than being more complicated and having less less range. That's why when, I, when uh, the developers bring out a new weapon, they gotta be really careful to make sure that that weapon's very different from all the other weapons. So you, you don't get bored of it. You see what I'm saying? It's very important. Very important that it does something unique and fun that the other weapons don't provide. Kind of like how, you know, there's Clutch Claw builds and those feel pretty unique, right? You remember Stygian Zanogre? Yes, of course. He is coming out. Sword and Shield is just not a very focused playstyle. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it, it allows you to kind of move around and be versatile. But does it really? I mean, when you try to optimize damage output, I'm pretty sure there's going to be, similar for all weapons, a specific move combination that's going to lead to optimal damage output. Probably what's more frustrating about it, though, is you end up having to ask yourself a bunch of questions about, well, which sword and shield is going to be optimal for this particular fight? You don't really do that with a lot of the other weapons. You do that with some weapons like the bow. You do that with the, um, maybe the dual blades. Tasty tacos! Thank you so much, man. Bringing in the tacos. Dang, dude. Tasty. Oops. Tacos. TTV. <laughs> That's very generous. But yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know. I wish the sword and um. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. So weird. I don't want to use the shield on it. I can tell you that. The sword and shield doesn't make me want to use the actual shield. So it's really just about hacking and slashing. But it's like the longsword is already so good at hacking and slashing. It really is. Two, f two for one says, Game Economist never acknowledges dual blade. Dual blade's not bad. I actually like dual blade a lot more. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. I got mute. Dual blades are not bad, and we are going to be working on the dual blades after the bow on the Xbox. You know, my original plan was to do the bow and the dual blades on the PlayStation, and I realized I had it backwards. I should do it on the Xbox, where I already have all the decorations. So on the PlayStation, we'll deal with the weapons that are kind of like for starving builds. But on the Xbox, where we basically have everything, that's where we'll do dual blade builds, and um, we'll do our bow builds over there as well. 
which is what we're doing tonight. That's what we're doing tonight. Let's jump over to the bow. And we want the water bow. See, now my nose is all runny. Don't you hate that? You sneeze and then you're, you just feel all congested. <laughs> oh, we got to choose upgrade. Laguna shot. I've sneezed 69k times today. What? That's a lot of times. So here we are. That was pretty cheap. That's yeah, pretty affordable. Uh, so the next thing I want to mention, what SSH does with this build, is he does augment it a lot. So he, ta he takes quite a few augments on it. Affinity increase, which we don't have colorful plume. Uh, what about extra slot? Tempered great horn. God, you know, I really hate the idea of going out into the guiding lens. I really do. Looks like we could do one of these if we wanted. Oh, it looks like we could only do one of these. God, dude. Sorry, but I, I just don't like grinding in the guiding lens. So we're just going to run with no no augmentations. We'll only augment our favorite weapons. Yeah. For all I know, Capcom's going to eventually make it easier to grind out there anyways. It's kind of what they did in the base game. They're like, okay, you guys want to augment all your weapons? More stream stones for you. That's what they did. So I'm not too worried about it. If it's too grindy, I'm not going to worry about it. Change equipment. And we're going to get a silver low set going, right? We are going to go with the Garuga Greaves. I agree with that. We already have them on. Very good. Earplugs Charm becomes the Water Charm, which we worked very hard in our previous live streams to get these charms done. And now we're enjoying the benefits of that. Here it is, Water Attack. And now let's see what else we need. So we always need Mighty Bow when you're playing with the bow. Very good. I'm curious. Does he worry about... I'm going to go look. So he does take normal shots too, and he does take spread shot too. That was a, something I was wondering how important it was to do that. So here's spread. That's spread one. Hmm, okay. Uh, i tell you what. So we're, we're trying to do this as efficiently as possible. Here's Tenderizer. Oh, this is going to be tricky. So he... Definitely want to finish Tenderizer. Okay, Weakness Exploit. No giant decoration slots for Weakness Exploit. Hmm. Oh, those are Narcacuga Greaves. Oops, hold on. You guys were probably telling me that in the chat section, but I just saw it. Here, let's trade them out. <laughs> Here they are. For some reason, I thought that I clicked on them. I suppose I hadn't. Ah, much better. <laughs> that changes a lot, doesn't it? Having these right here, doesn't it? I thought that was feeling kind of starved, the build. Okay, so there's our crit boost or weakness exploit. Crit boost on the bow, should you bring it? You can, it does help. I wouldn't sacrifice my water decorations for it. Well, there's probably even a point where you might do that too. Let's search by crit eye real fast. Here it is, Expert Jewel. So that's coming in. So actually, we need a lot, and there's not a lot of room left for much of anything. I really like running Health Boost. I do. But I can tell we are very quickly running out of room. Hmm. Take a crit eye. I'm prioritizing crit eye. Fortify affinity slide, marathon runner, stamina surge. We're taking the stamina surge, crit eye seven. Okay. That leaves us with these four slots to build spread and normal shot, which is what I would normally recommend. But I kind of want health boost. Oh, what a pickle. Can't have everything. Hmm. Let me think about it. So we could utilize our charm slot. We could take like the glider mantle. And this would allow us to have more damage for a while while the glider mantle is active. 
See, that's the thing with the bows. The bows are always challenging because they don't give you enough room to build health boost. And I hate that. I'm a big fan of health boost. Also, I don't know which one of these I'd prefer. I'm going to take Evasion Mantle. I've actually gotten much better at dodging things in this game over time. I'm going to do one normal shots. Don't worry, I'll be back in the chat chat section in a moment. I'm just making some decisions here. Where'd it go? Alright, so there's one spread, one normal. And this loses two decoration slots. Those could both be for health boost. Lane power, heroics, resentment, mighty. Ah, that sucks. Mm. What else do we have for expert then? Hold on, let's see what else we have for expert. More stamina surge. So we're going to drop, we're going to throw that in. We're going to drop one level of expert. And we're going to bring health boost back in. And just use a decoration. Okay, so we have two levels of Stamp Surge. We have one more decoration slot. Man, you lose 10% affinity if you drop level 7. You just don't want to do that. You don't ever want to drop level 7. Yeah, oops. Now I have to find it again. <laughs> Put that back in. Okay. I really would like to do spread shot too, because the spread shot on the bow is where most of your damage comes from. In my opinion, not all of it comes from it, but a lot of it does. I guess we'll go throttle vitality. I don't know. God, that's so sad. Feels like a bad compromise. All right, and the evasion mantle can have some stuff as well. I drop these true shots. Maybe evade window? Let's see if we can find evade window. I never use it. One. Two. And then over here we'll go. Wait, it's going to be on page one, isn't it? I don't even know what I want to do for this one. How about... Artillery, guard, evade extender, quick sheath, wide range. None of these are really catching my eye. Tool specialist, maybe? So tool specialist won't even last that long. That's a problem. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Jumping back to the chat room. We'll see what you guys are saying. Drop Garuga Boots for Kieran Chest. All right, let's take a look at that. You could honestly take off those four shots. I didn't use it because I mainly spam spread with the bow, says 205. Yeah, but one level of, one level of the normal shots actually does help. Let's see. I could do it if if I re if I was sure that you are getting a lot more damage from having two levels of spread rather than one level of normal. Kieran, he said, look at Kieran real fast. We're gonna look at the Kieran chest. So we would take Kieran chest and then we would trade out Garuga Greaves with what? Yeah, you could do that. And what is... It's giving us crit boost, isn't it? Hold on. Let's see. I'm, uh, oh, right. We're, we're right here. 
golden. Oh yeah, it is. It's giving us crit boost. So we could drop crit boost. What is the uh, physical on this bow? And we'd be doing that so that we could do what? Ooh, that's one of those tricky trade-offs. Yeah, Frosty says it right there. Kieran chest less effective because you lose two crit boost. Chat, please stop Peppa ga Gang. So the crit boost, oh my god, it says YouTube not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I'm calling Capcom. Er, uh, not Capcom, I'm sorry, Spectrum. <laughs> I'm calling Spectrum. Jesus Christ, why is it, why is it every time? Maybe I should go ask my wife what she's doing right now. I'm going to go ask her. I'll be right back. Yeah, she's not even on the internet. It's just me and you guys. And my laptop's plugged into the router. Okay. Well, I'm back. I think this is the build we're going to run for now. Let's go ahead and save it. You need cons. What? Get the 10% affinity augment. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste the uh, materials. Because I don't want to go grinding. Here we go, we have bow. I'll drop this right here then. So it looks like we already had dragon seal all bow done. They're all the same. All the builds are the same. How do we do so well on this? This one can be updated. Someone in chat is DDoSing because you agreed with me. <laughs> you guys, you're funny. <laughs> Stream recorded on Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Talk with the wife, you're funny. Uh, I went in, she's not, she's not even on the internet. It's just, uh, it's either YouTube which I suspect it's not YouTube or is my internet provider. After this, right after this stream, I might. No, they're not going to be up at 10 o'clock. I'm calling them tomorrow. I'm calling them tomorrow. I'm so mad. I'm really frustrated with this internet. This is so shitty. How can I be hardwired into the router and everything and it's still running so piss poor? Okay, here we go. So, I want Silver Rathalos. Stop complaining about my internet for a minute. I'm going to drop this one, or we're going to grab this one instead. Yeah, I'm going to tell my internet provider. They, they've got to give me internet or I'm leaving. I, I'm, I'm over them. I'm over them. I can't stand it anymore. I don't know if this is normal, because I've only ever had them as an internet provider. I swear to God, if their competitor is better, I'm, I'm going to be talking on Spectrum for the rest of my life. Alright, let's work out an item loadout. We actually don't need Dung Pod for this fight in particular. Well, you know what? Let's not do that, though. And I tell you what we'll do. We'll make a general bow loadout. Should probably get everything I need in order to craft more power coatings. A little lazy. I'll do that later. I hate being so full on, on items. It's so fucking... I'm always full on items. Alright, so... Where's our dash juice? <laughs> There's our dash juice. Let's overwrite Solemn. No, we don't remove it from the list. Let's choose rename. No, 
Oh. I specifically wanted this to be capitalized. You absolutely need Constitution, GE. Do I? By the way, who sent me? Oh, I see somebody sent me a message. Look, guys, uh, there's not a lot of room to build anything else on the setup. There's only a few things we can sacrifice. I can get rid of this Vitality, and I can get rid of this Vitality as well. And I'm not going to. I actually want Vitality. So those are on the build now. Uh, if we got rid of them, we could potentially take one more level of water. Um, if we got rid of this, we could take uh, Spread 2 probably, or Constitution somehow, right? But uh, we're just not going to do that. We could, well, maybe we could trade these over to, here, we'll trade these over to Constitution. Will that make you happy? Why not? Trade these over to Constitution. So when we have Evasion Mantle on, we also get Constitution too. Is it still laggy? Has it caught up? Yeah, it looks like it's caught up finally, but the problem now is the stream lag is huge. You guys are way behind me. I'm reading your comment. You guys are hearing my response like a minute later. Wow, and we lost a ton of people. We lost a lot of our audience. Fucking Spectrum, dude. Fuck them, dude. They suck. I don't know if it's got to be Spectrum. It's too consistent. It's every night. This can't just be YouTube. Oh, YouTube randomly has a spike. Oh, there's some lag on YouTube. It's got to be Spectrum. They're so garbage. I've never been satisfied with my service with them. I'm going to call them up. God, I should just cancel. I should just call up AT&T and tell them I'm going to be AT&T now. I wonder if I if I had like a long conversation on AT&T, if I could convince them to um, give me some kind of deal. Some kind of like first customer deal. So fucking tired of it. Imagine this is like the one thing I need from them. It's just one thing. I, I, I live stream for a job. So just one thing. I just need good internet. And they're like, nah, you're going to have shit internet. Sorry about that. I've called them so many times and told them, my internet's not adequate. You pay so much for this shit. And it's like, yeah, but your game's going to suck. I'm telling you, go game economist, four shots and health boosts are not necessary on bow. Four shot two is a 10% increase compared to spread two, which is 5%. You guys are having your little debate over there. <laughs> Oh, we should have been drinking dash juice. Oh, all right. We're actually going to start with the temporal mantle. Oh, right off the bat. A little temporal mantle. Oh, I hit the button. It didn't it didn't register. Yeah, I'm per I'm I'm really actually upset about my internet. It is it is uh my internet was so bad yesterday. It kind of ruined my streaming of opening those vintage boxes. 20 year old boxes and we can't get a quality stream. 20 year old boxes, you don't get to do that very much in life. Oh, I tried to dodge that so hard. Actually really frustrating. I've seen VHS tapes with better better graphics than the leams, uh, the uh, live stream lag. I was reading about that too. It was, uh, Different types of streams prioritize latency over quality, and I think that's what I think that's what YouTube does by default for your cell phone live streams. So I might have to check for like an OBS app or something like that. Man, he moves so damn much. 
how are you supposed to like target a particular part of his body? Oh, I did not. I thought I thought he was roaring. Good heals. I'm KO'd. Oh, give me a break. Flop out a Dragon Piercer for me. <laughs> right, I should recall how to Dragon Pierce. I'm not exactly skilled at Dragon Piercer because I, I don't need to. I don't actually use bow that often. kept thinking he was about to land on me. Oh, and he roars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to dodge through this. Oh, there we go. The head's broken. Nice job on that. I think that head's in the wall. Oh, he's mad now. <laughs> Let's get back. Oh, nice job. Here we go. Here's the big day. Oh, I got interrupted. Oh my god. <laughs> it's my fault. I should have been back a little further. God damn. And the stalactites. That's what's so annoying about the uh, Nergi nest. You got the little stalactite area. It's like so unnecessary to have those. <laughs> They're just there to make you sad. Here we are. We're too close again. We're playing like we're a melee weapon. You can do that when you play by yourself, but not when you're playing with teammates. Ah, we can't get close because if we do, we get messed up by the insect glaive user. I thought he was gonna like dash forward into the shot. Woo! Blade, no! You need to be wounding and shooting for those wounded parts almost exclusively, otherwise, so bye bye damage. No, I agree. I agree. It's, it's hard to shoot him when he's midair, actually, because he moves so much. Like, he flops around. See, look at him. He like flops up and down when he's flapping. His, all his, all his uh, weak spots do. So it's like you can't get anything in. Oh, actually, the tail's giving us decent hit zones. I didn't know that. Well, I, I can go for the tail then. They're not softened spots, obviously. But it's better than chasing the head when you're not near it. And when everyone else is crowded around the head, right? Oh, snaps. God. What happened was I went into the spread shot just as he jumped up, so I wasn't done with my animations in time to get out of that. Get out of there, dude. I hate the stalactites. Whee! You can broke his wings and tail. I will broken them. See, he, he's exhausted. He's ready to be thrown into a wall. 
That run is so pitiful when he uses it. Dude. Alright, wall time. Boink. Doing my part. Doing what's necessary. <laughs> And he's gone. Nice job, everyone. That actually wasn't too bad, was it? It's about eight minutes. It's not so bad. Yeah, you know what? The bow felt like he was doing a good job. It was just drilling out that damage. That's exactly what you want to feel. That's exactly what you want to feel with any build. Nathan says, soften up his wings, big easy targets while he's in the air 24-7. Halo guy says, this is the wild Trizitsi. This is wild Trizitsi A plus chest for water bow. Comes with cons... Constitution water attack, actually solid end game setup with good decorations. Sincerely, a bow main. Maybe. I'll take a look at it when we get back, okay? We'll take a look at the ZZ chest real fast. Oh, I got somebody contacting me, telling me that he wants to buy an old booster box. Whew. Jeez Louise. Can you break his will to live for me, Game Economist? Who are you talking to? <laughs> are you talking about uh, Silver Rathalos? It's easy to get dash, farm bone piles and mining crops with geologist, and then trade them at the Elder Smelder. Good tip. The Elder Melder can give you a lot of dash juice. Hey, kids, want to do some dash juice? Yeah, I read that earlier, Halo guy. <laughs> he's like, ah, he's got to read it. Oh, but you know what? You're hearing everything on a delay because we had that lag spike. God damn, I'm so freaking tired of Spectrum. I'm going to call them. I'm going to tell them they got to give me better internet or I'm out. I feel like I've been telling that, them that exact message for a long time. Maybe I should just... I don't know. I'm scared I'll swap over to AT&T and it will suck just as much as Spectrum sucks. They'll be like, we don't have to be any better than our competitor. There's only two of us. That's what I'm worried about. Alright, let's take a look at this ZZ chest. So, in order to do this, the ZZ chest has to be better than the Garuga legs. Not just the Garuga legs, but the trade-off of the Garuga legs to the Silver Rathalos legs. So here we go. Zitzi. It's, uh... It's not bad. I guess you'd probably be taking this one, though, right? So you'd be taking this one. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. You're giving up the crit boost when you give up... So, like, with this chest piece, you give up the crit boost too, right? That's what happens when you make that trade-off. So you give up the crit boost too. Also, I didn't really feel like I was having any trouble. I didn't feel like I needed constitution. The main reason for that is because I was just having dash juice. So dash juice was doing a pretty good job already. And dash juice is something you can just eat for, which means I get to have crit boost on my build. Yeah, I don't know if I really felt like I needed it. Hey, Game Economist, you got that dash juice? I do, actually. I do actually have dash juice. You better be ready with some thunder weapons. All right, let's try again. So that was Rathalos. Let's do Rathalos again. Wait, where did I have Silver Rath? Where did he come from? Here he is. We're going to do another Silver Rathalos run. I'm going to try and do a little bit better with my aiming. Two crit boost is way too efficient, says Fan. That's what I'm thinking too, honestly. Because what happens is, people don't understand. It's not just the comparison of Garuga Legs versus Kieran Chest. It's also the, part of the calculation is what you lose when you give up the other piece. So we're giving up the Silver Rathalos Chest in order to pick up the Silver Rathalos Legs. That's part of the equation. See what I'm saying?
All right, we'll just grab this. We really should set that up so you can craft more power charm. Not power charm. Let's go to crafting list. I haven't done this in a while. Here it is. Power coating is empty file and nitro shroom. All right, manage items. Show me nitro shrooms. How many of those do I have? Oh, a lot actually. So we're good. Nitro shrooms. And we're going to grab empty files. We have those, right? Wait, do we... empty files up here? No way. I can't remember now, actually. God, I hate this. <laughs> it is up here. Oh, God. Okay, so there's our empty files. I feel like that's too many files. Our full item loadout is just... We can't gather anything now. That's actually really sad. I like being able to gather things. Item pouch should be larger. I, I would like it to be lo lo uh, larger. That would be nice. So before we move on, though, let's go ahead and change our crafting. Okay, let's jump over here real fast. We want to be able to craft more power coatings as we go. And it crafts. How many does it craft at a time? Is it one for one? If it's one for one, I want the crafting to be all. I'll wait for you guys to tell me that. Let's go ahead and save this item loadout. All right, so now we can craft more power files, which is really useful because a lot of the best bows actually use power files. Does he have true crit? The arms of Shara has two crit boost, right? Uh, we have true, true elemental... Uh, Oh, True Crit Elemental or whatever it's called. We do have that. And uh, we're getting our crit boost from the Silver Rathalo set itself. So you don't need the Shara Arms. 40% raw is still a lot. That's exactly right. You do consider the raw damage side of the equation still. Because you already are building high affinity. Why would you want to give up crit boost? You could take both crit boost and True Crit Element together. And they bring your damage up a lot actually. I would say the the biggest things I could do is drop Vitality out of the build. That would help. And if I could get Agitator into the build, that'd be cool too. I mean, that's when you analyze SSH's build, that's what he's done. By relying on the Affinity Booster, he's been able to bring some Agitator and some Attack Boost into his setup. Did it really just drop me off in the middle of nowhere here? Ah, oh, why did I eat a meal? I'm so dumb. I'm running back. Wait, he hasn't he hasn't seen me yet. I'm just gonna fly back. Why have I not eaten? I'm so I'm so dumb. <laughs> Alright. God, I'm bad at this. Let's just do I don't Oh, oh, we're gonna get constitution either. No, 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 uh, either way. No, we didn't get it. We got feline riser. I'm confusing the names of the uh, skills. We want feline uh, black belt. That's the one that gives you more constitution. Are you using four piece silver wrath set? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> I feel like we're doing well tonight. How f we're only an hour in. We're having our second fight with the water bow. Uh, it's feeling pretty good. I feel like we could move on to another bow. Okay, here he is. I would love to make a thunder bow build using the Rajang bow. We don't have our files on yet. Go ahead and put this on as well. Where is it? Here it is. Temporal Mantle. Oh, I can't believe we just missed. Ah, his instant run. Oh, we didn't drink our dash juice either, did we? That's why I'm forgetting. Oh no! He been knocked down! Alright, forget the dash juice. We gotta do some damage. Ree! Ree! Glug, 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 glug. Ah, That's me having my monster energy before going on a live stream. <laughs> All 
Alright, power coating's on. Oh my god, and we're ready for evasion mantle already. Let's go ahead and put that on too. Nice job. I'm about to be interrupted. <laughs> I didn't think that would hit me. I didn't think it would hit me. Wow, he's hard to hit. Especially when he's flying. If you aim for, like, his tail, like, yes, you can hit the tail. It's just, it moves so much. I mean, look at it. It's like a wiggling worm. couldn't get out of it. I was in the power shot. No! Oh my god, man. I tried so hard to dodge that because it, you could tell he was about to do his ground stomp. I just hit the button too late. Oh. Oh, we're getting wrecked, guys. Alright, well, here. Let's go ahead and grab our... Not that. God damn it. I grabbed the wrong item and now I have to go back in here. Because <laughs> this will be faster than going in manually. God damn it. Any interest in a Claire or Leon bow build? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be too worried about that. Not me. I think that the Leon build works really well for something like a Nergigante weapon, particularly a raw damage Nergigante weapon that really only requires, you know, enough affinity and enough crit boost. We something like that, right? Like great sword, hammer. Oh, we didn't need for stamina. Oh, it doesn't matter. This the. the Dash juice should bring us up, right? We're fine. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we're back in. That was awful. He's ready to be thrown into a wall. Actually, there's pods over here. Let's grab this. Got him. <laughs> is he not softened? He looks like he is. Oh, his parts haven't been broken. Oh. Good KO, good KO. Darn it, I should have aimed that a little better. He's gonna roar. I tried so hard to dodge that, I just couldn't. The, I noticed with the power shot, or the spread shot, whatever you want to call it, it, um, it actually has a lot of recovery frames, so you have to be sure that you want to use the power shot before you take it, because once you commit to it, you're not going to be able to dodge his next move. And I just kind of use it willy-nilly. People who are really good with the bow, I'm sure that they actually hold it and they wait. Like, they're like, do I want to use a power shot? They, I'm sure they, they actually test it before they look. The normal shot comes out fairly fast. You recover from that really fast. So you can go into a dive right after, you know, an evade right afterwards. Is he actually mounted on? It looks like he's mounted. I would love to soften the tail. I think we get it right here, right? Yes. Alright, so the tail is softened. How did that miss? We were basically in the tail. Well, that's probably why it missed. Nice. <laughs> Not again. Oh, that was dumb of me. I was just trying to get away. Like, I was trying to sneak away after getting a few successful shots. So let's go ahead and heal. I don't want to get one-shotted again. Because I'm missing some health. Damn it, dude. Hey, there's latent power. 
for those of you, you guys who are making fun of latent power, but it's like, you think that I'm good enough to not get hit, guess again. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, we're out of power coding. Can't craft anymore. So the power coding is really nice. Once you run out, you gotta use the close range. This is the close range. The close range is okay, but it's not as good as the power coding. He's ready to be thrown into a wall. Good job, good job, good job. Alright, let's get on the head. The head's already softened. He's gonna die soon. That's a lot of damage for him to be going through. Do we have the same idea? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> and he's got a nice job, everyone. Lots and lots of damage coming out of the bow. If only I hadn't died. Jesus. The question you think you really want to ask is, can you cut a tail with a bow? Yes, you can. You can definitely cut it with a bow. Use your... Uh, the, the rocks cut it, don't they? The... Um, I can't remember the name of the move. Arc shot. Arc shot will cut it. So will the dragon piercer. Aiden says, "I right, GC, I'm out, man. She woke up. See you later, man." Frosty says, "Well, gonna miss the rest of the bow stream for a good cause. TGC better stream bow again, and before I come back and see Pepega build. See you later, man." <laughs> On a down monster, especially, you want to do the spread shot into the charged dash. Back into the spread shot for max DPS. You do a spread shot into the charged dash. Normal shot. Charge dash normal shot into the spread shot for max DPS. I, I think I can see why you're saying that, but what if you're shooting him in the head? Wouldn't you prefer to get an arc shot off then? What do we get? P potential vitality. <laughs> I actually just watched your hunting horn guide. I really like your voice. Oh, thank you. The arc shot does exhaust. Oh, the arc shot was nerfed, wasn't it? I forgot about that. I remember when I first started Monster Hunter and couldn't afford power coatings. Yeah. <laughs> they make a big difference being able to craft a bunch of them. Bubba Zora says, good night. I'll leave a like. Thank you so much, man. I do appreciate that. You know what, guys? I would love it. I, You know, let's pick a number. Let's try to hit 69 likes each night. How about that? I, I, I said 100 the other night, and, uh, you know, it's nice if we hit 100, but 69 is the perfect number. I think we can all agree on that. Let's hit 69 likes. Try Velcana helmet and chest and Namiel coil and legs. Velcana helmet and chest and Namiel, Namiel coil and legs. I probably won't be doing that. I don't see... I don't think I've seen any speedrunners building that with the bow, but I could be wrong. Okay, so this build was fine. Why don't we take a look at the next bow build? Oh, come on, mouse. Yeah, give me one moment. I really like SSH's builds. I've been keeping an eye on him for a long, long time. He took a break, and uh, he came back. Let's see. Icicle Blizzard 2. So we're going to build a, uh, an ice bow build for fighting... Who's this? Shar Ishvalda next, right? Let's do that next. And we're going to be building Icicle Blizzard 2. Forge equipment. Weapons. We're going to choose... Oh my lord, we need to fight Gyrototus again. Alright, well that's what we're going to do next then. Gyrototus time. Kozu says, I have school tomorrow. Just drop out. Who cares? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Don't drop out of school. Stay in school, kids. Unless it's causing you to go $50,000 in debt for a history degree. Then drop out of school. Uh, let's see. Where do they have the chest? I don't use the gathering hub enough. Where is the actual chest? Oh, it's over here. So we're, gonna, we're just going to jump over to any old build. We'll do this one again. 
We're going to be fighting Gyrotodus for a third time this stream. We need his parts. Actually use the sticky ammo build. We need to get rid of this devour build. Okay, and we'll go ahead and talk to the quest counter. Post a new quest. Gyrotodus, Gyrotodus. Scooby dooby dooby doo. Eastern camp. More lag, huh? There's more fucking lag. I am extremely disappointed with the quality of my internet. Before we go live for the Pokemon cards, I will probably cycle my routers to see if that helps at all. So, like we've been doing every night, by the way, guys, we'll be going live on my second YouTube channel, and we will be taking a look at, uh, well, we've got really old vintage booster, booster packs from uh, the Jungle set and the Fossil set, and I'll be opening up more of those. More of those sold, two, two at least have sold. And then I have some cool tins to open from the Sun and Moon set, so I'll be opening those as well. But yeah, uh, the internet's really disappointing me right now. Uh, how can I spend so much money on internet and the internet, uh, the service be such shit? It's really frustrating. Devin says, I've been so distracted by Call of Duty, I haven't picked up my bow in a min. Lol, this stream is going to make me hop back on after work. Call a booty. Call a booty. Do people... I guess that game still has a very large following. I... My my wife and I, we bought the previous one. Was it called Black Ops 3? We purchased that to play zombies together. And we played zombies for like three days. And then that was it. And we're like, you know what? We're never buying Call of Duty again. <laughs> it, uh... I don't know. Just didn't feel that fun. Isn't that weird? I feel like RPG games offer a level of complexity and an, a, a level of creativity that you just don't find in a game like Call of Duty. Call of Duty is great in the sense that Candy Crush is great in the way that you don't think too much, you just kind of go out and do something, right? But when you play this game, you actually got to do a bunch of research, you got to find out how everything is working. It's hard to optimize in a game like this to get what you really want, right? Oh, Call of Duty is not that difficult. Call of Duty, you just kind of, I don't know, look up whatever weapon's best and then just, just grab it and go. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't play enough Call of Duty anymore. And I don't know. I just don't have as much fun with it. Black Ops 2 has the best zombies. Ooh, zombies. Let's see. Who has the actual best zombies? Left 4 Dead? <laughs> Call of Duty won't die off for a while. Not really any good shooter on the market. Oh, yeah, there was Destiny. You know, uh, I'm not dissing on Call of Duty entirely, but I would rather play Destiny rather than Call of Duty. Call of Booty. Call of Stinky Tahooty. I'd rather play Destiny for sure. It's not, even a, it's not even a close competition, to be honest. I've played both of those games quite a bit. I used to play Call of Duty a lot when I was younger. And Destiny came out, and it's like, they're just not even close. For me personally, they're not close. Destiny's way better. Oh, did you see that nice shot? Did you see that nice shot that did essentially no damage? <laughs> did that fish just... God damn it, you stupid fish. Sticky ammo is a way of life, guys. If you're not playing sticky ammo, why not? What is wrong with you? Why can't you be like the other kids in school? Why can't you be cool like the other kids in, in school? <laughs> I wonder what it would be like to have my own kids and have to worry about them being successful in high school and shit like that. They won't have to be successful, you know why? I'll just teach them how to run a YouTube channel. I'll tell them, fuck school, you're gonna play YouTube. You're gonna play video games on YouTube and I'm gonna say, thanks dad! Wow, Dad, that's great. I'll be like, when I'm an old man, you're going to take over the YouTube channel and just play video games for life. How about that? <laughs> it's actually feasible, too. You know, um, it, I understand YouTube enough that I could be like, here's how you make quality content. Semi-quality. <laughs> Don't want to flatter myself here, but here's how you get your YouTube channel running and uh, go play some games. Of course, it, it only works if you really are the kind of person who can talk all day and play games all day 
And what I've learned, I used to think that being able to talk all day and play all, uh, play games all day was like an addiction for me, but actually it ended up being a big asset. <laughs> it ended up being my greatest asset. <laughs> Not everyone does, does have the uh, patience to play games and really play games, you know what I mean? Put thousands of hours into it. You don't become somebody who can make fun content without having put in a lot of time. And a lot of people probably give up on the game. Because they don't got the the deep love. The deep Monster Hunter love. Actually, I've kind of given up a little bit on the, the Pokemon game. We have such a larger audience for Monster Hunter. We've got almost 300 people. And that was after we lost a bunch of people from that lag spike. We had that lag spike. After the lag spike, we dropped like 40 to 60 people. Did you know that? From that earlier lag spike. And here we are, back at 274 people watching. Quite a lot of people. Alright, he's out of here. Nice job, everyone. Nice and fast. Dying Light is very fun. Wish I still had my copy. Dying Light is great. What exactly can you meld of importance with these star badges? What? You retired and let your son daughter take over. You know what? That would actually be probably a dream for them. Imagine your mom or dad or whoever is a... They have a an actually legit YouTube channel. They say, look, just go to school to learn how to talk well and play video games all day and you can run my channel i'll help you all right that's a that's actually kind of cool one of them's going to tell you they hate youtube and hate video games see i just find that hard to believe actually i'm a very quiet person i could never be a streamer i i understand that actually uh i i thought i was always kind of a quiet person i i think i am actually i i don't like loud noises and i don't like loud crowds i'm a talkative person though and that's different Having a lot to say is very different from being loud. Ancient potions and max potions. Jesus, that was fast. I can talk for hours. Wait, wait, wait. Is sticky ammo out DPSing the shotgun claw build? Shotgun claw build. What is he saying? Oh, you mean the clutch claw build. Well, it wouldn't be... Wow, we got that done in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. That's the fast speed we're looking for. Good job, everyone. See, we had a hunting horn on the team. That, makes, that means hunting horns are good. Hunting horns OP. Stars badges are worth 200 points. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we're going for the Icicle Blizzard Ice Bow next. And we're going to be using this on Shara Ishvalda. We're going to be spanking Shara Ishvalda. Game Economist, are you going to get the elliptical or exercise bike where they're cheap now? So my, I, I've decided I do want a piece of exercise equipment so that I can play games, get like a daily run of about 30 minutes at least, uh, so that I'm actually getting some blood flow, <laughs> some some uh, exercise in. And, and the question now is where, where can I buy one for a decent affordable price? And I'm thinking my wife and I could probably go driving around to all of like the Goodwills and similar sort of like donation thrift stores we have quite a few where i live and see if anyone's just giving theirs away they're big heavy chunky pieces of furniture not everyone wants to keep theirs so we're going to try that first and if we can't find anything of decent quality what we might do second then is go ahead and order one online so but we might as well check in in, in the goodwills first because whenever it comes to like furniture you can always get not the best but okay furniture at a place like goodwill wait where did i just run what am i doing why am I in this expedition? What the hell? All right, back to Celia. <laughs> I don't remember. That was weird. I thought I chose to go back to Celiana. Yeah, that was weird. I'm so committed to the conversation. I'm not paying attention to the game. It just shows you. Heavy bow gun, clutch claw build. I'm a Shara Ishfall the pro. Same here. If I got to know someone, I get more talkative. Rami says, keep an eye out for yard sales as well. Oh, that's a good point, Rami. But I don't want to wait that long, and it's it's the middle of winter, so nobody's having uh, yard sales right now. It's just far too cold. So we'll probably hit up all the Goodwills in a certain radius. See if uh, there's like four or five of them. See if anyone donated a exercise equipment of, of decent quality. If we find one, we'll rent a truck from Home Depot and get it over here to our condo and move it in. And then I'll be fine. And you know, when you buy it from a place like Goodwill, you just get it really cheap. I got a. Re if you guys are in the Discord server and you go to the announcements, I I took a picture of this amazing shelf 
where I'm storing my Pokemon cards now, like a display shelf, it was nine bucks at Goodwill. So anytime we're looking for like a chunk of furniture, that's the first place we go. It's just because it's so much cheaper there than, than buying it brand new. Think of all the furniture that just goes into, just goes into the ground, you know, it goes into some kind of uh, trash pit. What do they call those? Uh, oh, I can't even remember what they're called. Trash pits. <laughs> End up in a hole somewhere. Trash. Throw you in the trash. He was running for no reason. I love to talk to Terra. God, I need therapy, says Lord Killerath. <laughs> I need therapy. Oh, no. The next 20 years of your life are just overcoming the first 10 years of your life. <laughs> I heard that quote sometime. I don't remember when that was. It was I think it was some psycholo psychology quote. The first, uh, the, you know, you spend most of your life just trying to overcome your past, your childhood. Sad that this wasn't chosen by the speedrunners. Alluring Evelia. But actually, it was this one, huh? It's interesting. It must be because of... It must be because of augmentations. That's all I can think. Let's go ahead and craft it. Just like touch a topic I'm passionate about and you got yourself a 10-hour audiobook. It's not garage sale season, but that is a good way to find furniture. Equip now? Yeah, we're going to equip this. And what do we got here? Oh, we got to upgrade. Nope, that's the Laguna shot. Here we go, water shot. Frozen bone! Damn it. We'll add that to the wish list. Uh, where does frozen bone come from? Iceborne, frozen bone. Frozen bone locations, Gosu Noob. Looting bone piles. Got it. All right. Bone pile time, guys. Let's grab our geologist build or whatever. Our gatherer build. Forger. Very good. And we're off. If I can open my map. That was weird. Wouldn't let me open my map. Whore. Frost Reach. The Screeching Legiana Bow is the best one. Hmm, that's weird because this guy built the Bariath Bow. Mine gonna pop feline insurance. What? Legiana can fit more elemental attack. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if anyone said anything. No heroics. Hmm. Try to donate on Streamlabs. No dice. Is the do donation link gone? Done for YouTube. No, the donation link should still work. Let me make sure. I, uh, yeah, my volume is working. Let's see. Maybe you made the donation. Let's check. Check. Ah, yeah. Um, I don't know what could be going wrong. Uh, it it seems like it should be working. Yeah, let me know. Here, I can actually run a test. So this was a donation that's already been made, and we're just going to run a test. Let's give it a try. Yeah, so it's working. It, it is working. Couldn't tell you. Okay, we're here to gather. We gather here today. Have a chef, chef's choice platter. Barrett is best because of augments. Ah, interesting. See, man, I gotta. That's something that I need to learn about is the augmenting system. I feel like it was much less complicated in the base game because you understood that there were only a few materials needed for augmenting. Now you need like fucking so many materials. It's annoying.
What are these guys doing? That was weird. <laughs> Butterbur patch. Where are the bones? I'm trying to remember what bone piles look like. That's a mining out crop. That's honey. Here they are. There's two over here. Let's travel to the western camp. Is it weird that I hate regular Legiana more than Shrieking Legiana? They both suck. Yeah, I'm not a fan of either. I main Greatsword and I'm looking for a new weapon to learn. Any suggestions? Well, if you're looking for something similar to the Greatsword, I would say go to the Hammer. And if you're looking for something very different, try the bow or the bow guns. Because the experience will be very different with these weapons. Wait a second, where is it? Oh, it's right here. It's in this pile. Hey, oh, I already read that one. Legiana bow equals best ice bow. Okay, we got two frozen bones. Nice. And what's looking at us? Is this thing getting mad at us? Get out of here. You're not invited. You're not invited to the pants party. Party in my pants. Sweet. More bones. Well, it's not even lighting up. It's like the scout flies didn't want me to find it. Okay, one more frozen bone. So it says we're done. I wonder if we should just grab a few more while we're out here. We're going to grab more bones real fast anywhere. You know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's go home. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh, stretch time. Ugh. Who wants to hunt Legiana, though? I know, right? <laughs> I gotta have a cough real fast. Let me mute my mic. Ah, much better. Oh, you guys aren't you guys aren't too behind the stream, actually. I thought there was a large lag, but it's not too bad. Is there a specific website with solid bow builds? Sort of. You could go... In my experience, one of the best ways to understand the weapons is to actually look at what the speedrunners are doing and ask yourself, why are they doing that? I think that is actually one of the fastest way to learn anything. And uh, especially in this game is to ask yourself why they're doing that. Because these guys are optimizing like crazy. And with them actually being in the, the fight and actually having to provide real proof that it's working... Um, I think that's one of the reasons why they're so consistently uh, good at sniffing out what's working and what's not. So, uh, as a rule for me, one of the things I'm starting to do more, I'm starting to look more and more at decisions that speedrunners are making, and not just copy, but to actually understand why. what is their reasoning behind this. Devin and Natasha, thanks man. He says, great to be watching the stream again from over here in Afghaniland. I think he means Afghanistan. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man. Devin's off. Are you deployed? I think you're deployed. I think you mentioned that last time. Whew. That's a generous donation, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the entertainment. Devin and Natasha, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so here we go. Let's go ahead and update that bow. Actually, let's talk to this guy and see if we need to get some more fertilizer going. We do. Grab all this real fast. Maybe try Honey Hunter website. I, I've, I've looked at Honey Hunter myself. I feel like one of the problems is you get a lot of different builds off of Honey Hunter and a lot of different claims about what's optimal. That's one of the things that happens for a lot of people. I mean, people were doing that earlier here in the actual live stream. They're like, you need to build this. You need to build that because it's optimal, right? So people are making a lot of claims. The difference between people who make claims and the speedrunners is speedrunners provide evidence for their claims. And this is why I pay more attention to really good looking speedrunner, uh, speedrunners who have uh, performed multiple tests with various weapons and try to learn from them. I do like uh, build calculators, but actually I think build calculators are most valuable to actual speedrunners who then go out and test the weapon and it's actually the evidence provided by the speedrunner that ends up being most valuable. Those are just my thoughts. Let's go ahead. We're going to upgrade equipment. We're going to choose that bow again. 
yeah, results are, are actually starting to matter more to me. Frozen bone. Now we're out of frozen bones. Equip now. Yes. And icicle blizzard too. Nice. Speedrunner builds are actually tested. That's exactly right. Yes. That's exactly what I was trying to uh, suggest. Full Kulu set for the win. By the way, I'm curious uh, what Char uh, what uh, SHH did for this build. So let's see. Run over here. So he goes Affinity 2 and Elemental 7 once again for this Blizzard bow. It's so interesting. We're going to go ahead and jump over to the bow builds. And grab Laguna Shot. And then we're going to take the Laguna Shot and trade it off with... The bow we just crafted. This one right here. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. It doesn't actually have decorations, so it's actually very similar. Whoa! Devin's become a member! Can we get some shuckles in the chat room? Leave some shuck, uh, shuckle emojis for Devin. Devin, when you become a member, you get uh, a badge that shows how long you've become a member, but then you also gain access to a variety of exclusive emojis. Uh, so enjoy those. <laughs> Let's go ahead and trade the Flood Charm out. Thank you very much, by the way. We'll trade this out with... Is Ice going to be... Uh, let's see what Ice is. There it is, Ice Attack. Wow, Ice Attack's a level 5 charm, huh? I wonder why they decided on that. Probably because the affinity is so good that you can stack more raw than Legiana, so it out-damages the, the Legiana. Well, and let's see what he's doing again here. Okay, so let's see what we have going on, actually. We have 65% affinity, and in his build, he goes with two uh, affinity augmentations. All right. Tenderizer physique. Wow, how did he get those decorations? I don't even have those decorations. There's a tenderizer physique. Huh. Garuga Greaves, he actually puts in destroyer decorations. Wes Kiba became a member. Can we get some shuckles in the chat for Wes Kiba as well? Hold on, I'll do some, I'll do some shuckles. Hold on, hold the phone. Oops. How many of these am I allowed to do? Oh, not that many. <laughs> There's like a limit. There we go. All right, and I'll refresh the page because I know if I don't, it will make my next thing a sh shuckle. So let's see, Ice Attack, huh? Can we take the last level of Ice Attack? 430, huh? And what happens when we take one more? Four hundred sixty. So it's a it's a difference of uh, thirty. It's really not a large difference. I actually might go health boost there to be honest. Yeah, we'll probably turn that into health boost, just like the other one. We actually might just take the same exact build where it's at. I mean, this was working quite well for us. Yeah, we might take it from there. Let's go ahead and save the build. Alright, so we have... Oh, there was a Legiana Snow Fletcher here too, huh? I can't compare to it, unfortunately. Okay. It's an Icicle Blizzard. It's interesting. Interesting. And we need all the augmentations, I suppose. But I'm not going to actually build them. We're looking for Shara Ishvalda. Does anyone have Shara? Do I have Shara? Let me just tell them. Hey, the keyboard came up right away. So it's way too hot in here. I might turn my heater off. All 
All right, so I'll wait for them to post that. Let me go turn my heat down. It's too hot in here. So warm. Quit using health boost, says 205. Nah, I'm going to keep using it. I like it too much. <laughs> You're talking about giving up a lot of survivability for a small amount of bonus damage, in my opinion. So that's why we, we bring it with us. All right, we need to see if anyone posted. Okay, join a quest. You. Huh, does nobody have it? Does anyone have Shara Ishvalda? We're looking for Shara Ishvalda. I suppose it's possible that nobody has it or has it. Let's see, um I'm talking like Golem over here. How about we pop open the hunter's notes and pick another monster weak to ice then? All right, jump over here. Here we go. We got this is an ogre. There's a great Shara bow speed run that I watched from one of the Japanese players. I think it was like five minutes till the. It'll really show you how to get those max DPS. Yeah. So his run, how fast was his run? Four minutes and nineteen seconds was uh, SSH's run. So I think that's pretty good. Fulgur Anjanath this week to ice, huh? Look at that. I didn't know that. Brecadillos this week to ice. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. Might have to do Bracky Daddy. Posted a quest. Hey, oh, nope. Actually, uh, I don't remember. Is, is he weak to ice? Oh, God. If only I could remember. I thought he was weak to thunder. Yeah, he's weak to thunder. He's strong against ice. Alright, let's post a Bracky Daddy quest. We gotta keep these things moving. Here we go, Brachydios and Ray Jang. But we don't want the... What's Ray Jang weak to, actually? I don't know what Ray Jang is weak to. Is Ray Jang weak to ice? Oop, hold on. Sorry, guys. Looking at this damn book. So many monsters to memorize these days, you know what I mean? Here he is. He is! Ooh, let's go ahead and post that then. Here it is. This one right here. Alright, we got a tempered Brachydios and a regular Rejane. That'll be fun. Okay, let's see what you guys are talking about. What are your thoughts on true spare shot with the Zenogre heavy bow gun? Should you use true spare shot on the... No, you don't. You don't need it because you have, A, a lot of spread shot in reserve. So true spare shot is especially good for ammo types that don't have enough reserve. Uh, but you have plenty with the spread shot. And B, your ammo clips are already pretty large. So there's kind of like this threshold with the ammo clips where you want them to be large enough that when a monster gets knocked down, you don't have to like reload very much. You want to just keep shooting the monster with the full clip. Uh, so true spare shot's definitely not a high priority in my opinion for that particular weapon. Okay, let's see. Agitator is, if you can get Agitator on. Grab this bow. And my axe. When he looks at chat. <laughs> you should speed run great Chagris. Someone posted Shara. There is a Shara quest up. Damn it. <laughs> well, now we're fighting Bracky Daddy and Ray Zhang. I apologize. I waited for a while for someone to post, and I, I can't, I can't like, wait forever. I gotta get going. So I, I apologize for that, but yeah, we're starting now. So let's see. Let's get fourth shot, and we're gonna go ahead and get Black Belt. Probably I should save this build so that I can just grab it quickly. Yes, order this meal. Sharpshooter and black belt. That's what you that's what you eat for if you want to deal more damage with the bow. 
Vitality is pretty much a staple in every build of mine, even if it's just a level 2, but if you don't need it, then yeah, don't run it. Yeah, that's the thing. I've played the game so long, and it just doesn't ever feel worth it to give it up. You're talking about dealing a little more damage, and I get that, but you're also talking about losing a lot of survivability, and maybe it's, some people are just like gods at this game, but it's like, it sucks when you die. Because maybe one of your teammates has already died, or two of them have already died, and then the quest is over. I mean, that happened like, this happened like the last two streams, where I've died, and I used one of the lives, and somebody else died too, and that was it. We were just out of lives. So, a little bit of survivability goes a long way, in my opinion. Vitality is pretty much a stay- oh, I already read that one. Darn, I'm, I'm, I'm sad I missed that Shara Ishfall the quest. I would have liked that. Alright. Guessing we landed right next to Bracky Daddy. Let's go ahead and grab these pods. He's already roaring. There he is. Oh, nice. He got him. I can't believe we were missing this. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> that Devil Joe? It is. You can tell it's Devil Joe because your screen, like, backs up. This is gonna suck now, everyone. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Wee! Wee! Oh. Oh, that did. It gave me Dragon Blight. Luckily, we have Null Berries. We're fine. Alright, sadly, we had just put on our Temporal Mantle, and now it's going to waste. He's ready to be thrown into a wall again. Nice job. Me. <laughs> oh, he got me. That was terrible. Alright, here's our power shots. Of course. No, Terra Boy! Now we have one life, everyone. Be careful. Alright. So that's what I was talking about. So we could be running one life with uh, no health boost. That would suck, right? I think it would. I mean, there's a fair chance I'd die anyways. <laughs> Just because I, uh, you know, I'm keen on dying. I thought about maybe going for a Clutch Claw attack while I still had Temporal Mantle active. I tried so hard to dodge that, because it would have given me the power boost, and I would have gotten some shots in. Get over here. <laughs> Devil Joe wants to help. <laughs> Don't forget to use 1,000 dragons. All right, sounds good. And we're out. Nice try, everyone. <laughs> it's, fun. it's actually kind of ironic because just earlier, 205 or, or whoever it was was saying uh, no no health boost, but, you know, people do die. It's just, a, it's just a part of the game. So when we're optimizing for top, 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 top damage and you're really struggling to get a, squeeze a little bit more damage in there, it's to me, it's, it's tough to say that you should give up such a large amount of extra survivability for such a small amount of bonus damage. It's good for speedrunning, but I don't, I don't recommend glass cannon builds all the time just because, you know, you run into that situation. I mean, even when you don't have a glass cannon build, you die in this game. The monsters are tough enough. <laughs> Look at the Devon's 
laughing at it. <laughs> hey, chat, is there a hard critical eye skill? Yes. Yes, you get two levels of crit eye. God Terror Boy says, I didn't die. <laughs> I'm going to update the title to say Water and Ice Bow, because we're actually working on both Water and Ice Bow. There it goes. And we'll save that. Bow, I prefer Evade Extender over Health Booster for defense. All right, we'll go ahead and let's see if we can join Sharish Fall at all. It's right there. We're, we're coming in. Keep him warm. <laughs> There's Baleful Knight. Two new members tonight. That's a lot of fun. We haven't had a lot of new members, have we? Let's go ahead and grab some fresh ammo for the bow. I'm going to run through my nitro shrooms doing this. Uh, we'll just go with... Hey, there's Sharpshooter anyways. We're going to go with that. In my build, I have a level 3 health boost. Nice. Alright, I'm just going to head out. I'm going to start playing every game with Game Economist when he's on Xbox to show you don't need that HP boost. You don't need it. It's not about... Well... So 2 of 5, you don't need the health boost, but you also don't need a bit more damage. It's a question of what do you want. That's the question. So, you know, uh, the more experienced you are with the game, or the more, more focused or skilled you are, the less likely you'll need defense on your, skill, uh, your build. Uh, and then it goes the other way, too. Sometimes players actually prefer loss of defense. Maybe like health boost and divine blessing secret, which is really strong. Did that just throw me backwards? I didn't know it could do that. What? Alright, let's go ahead and have our dash juice. I think I forgot to drink that last time. Nope, let's get roared. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Can I not grab from there? Oh, that was um interesting. PlayStation 4 players can join Xbox players. Question, question. No. It would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Whee! Wow, that dealt so much damage to me. Mm, we need to soften his head for sure. Actually, um... I'm trying to think, what's the best place to hit a monster with shot? Oh, not a monster, Shara Ishvalda specifically. Alright, Blade's about to weaken him up. We'll do some bonus KO to help Blade out. Once you figure out that big beam, this fight is actually a lot less challenging. Just kind of walk up toward it, get hit by it like I just did, like a big boof. I don't think he's going to hit the wall there. I think I saw a donation. Where's Kiba donating? Give me a moment. He says, I'll put this donation down and I'll show you what level 3 vitality and divine protection with the Great Sword can do. Meet me on December 3rd if you can. <laughs> 1v1 me, bro. Is that the roar? Did I dodge it? I can't tell if I dodged it. Alright, let's grab our evasion mantle. Oh, that's the roar. Oh, I hate that move. It's so annoying. Oh, it still hit me. All right. He needs to be softened again.
heart's broken. Looks like he was drooling there for a minute. Aw, uh, did that fall on him or not? I can't tell. Really? I keep missing. It's too bad his part's not broken. Do I have time? Do I have time? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. All right. He softened. Now it'd probably be a nice time to... Okay. <laughs> What just happened? Um, that's fine. <laughs> Was just gonna say, game economist, get some wounds off. Shoulder greater than lance shield. <laughs> Feels that way, doesn't it? <laughs> Man, you run through those nitro shrooms really fast. Oh my gosh, he could be thrown into that wall. Oh my gosh, please throw him into that wall. Oh, so much for that. God damn it. I was going to throw him into the wall, but the other guy caused me to fall off. I had the uh, thorns to do it. Did I just get thrown somewhere? Alright, that's cool. Uh, I think that's lag. Oh, cool, he got interrupted, I think. All right. So far, this has not been too bad. Just wondering if we can shoot him in the leg for much damage. Ouch, that hurts. Don't want to get smacked. Kind of hard to get close to him after the sand pits come in, you know what I mean? Uh oh, are we actually in a sand pit? Are we gonna get hit? Ah, he needs to be softened again. I don't know if we should bother softening him. I don't know how much of the fight's actually left. Trying so hard to go through those. That would have been cool if I could have. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Did I actually. Oh, I got knocked back by the wind again. That's so weird. There's a latent power. Oh my god. That's gonna hurt. Oh. Trapped in the sand. I'm KO'd. Am I dead? Oh, not dead. He's dead. <laughs> Yay! I knew he was close. That's why I was questioning whether it was worth our time to try and soften him. You d you don't actually get any claw drops with a heavy weapon until later in the fight unless you die or use the instant camp item. What? Dash up Ultra Instinct. He just DBZ'd. Game Economist, what's your G-O-T-Y? Game of the Year? Uh, Monster Hunter Iceborne. <laughs> you, Thousand Dragon Boy. Oh, right. I haven't been using Thousand Dragon. You're right. I need to be using that. Alright, there's Thousand Dragon again. You're right, I should be using that. 
Try a Dragon Piercer build with Volcana Force and Raging Bow. I won't be doing that. I think we already messed with it a little bit, and it wasn't really that good. So we probably won't be doing that. I think Hendra might have been the host. Yeah, he's definitely the host. <laughs> Look at him go. Always soften the head. <laughs> you should have gone for the head. So we're at the two-hour mark. Normally, this would be where we wrap the stream up, but actually, I want to do another. I, I want to do that tempered Bracadios and Rejang fight again, if you guys want. How does that sound? We got a nice large audience going right now, too. We got 350 people watching. How's it going, everyone? <sighs> oh, man. I'm all ready to be back to work tomorrow. I'm officially done with my vacation. Monday will be a normal work day. We'll have our regular streams. I don't know. Maybe I'll skip one of the streams. I might skip the 12 p.m. stream and focus exclusively on getting multiple commentaries out. I need to get videos posted to my channel. We need that pretty bad. I don't like that he said that ain't good. It's fun as hell. What is he talking about? Dragon Piercer? Okay, so the bow builds are actually not too complicated. Maybe I overestimated how complex I thought they were. It's just a matter of understanding which bows are going to be good after augmenting them. Uh, and maybe even considering bows that you might run if you don't want to augment them. Or augment them. Like, for example, I'm not augmenting them because I don't want to have to grind in the Guiding Lands. So we're done with the Ice Bow. We're done with the Water Bow. Let's go ahead and fight Tempered Bracadios. We're going to do it. Bracky Daddy. Bring him on. We're going to try this again, everyone. You ready? Scooby Dooby. So we're going to get all the bows done. And then after the bows are done, we should probably do dual blades. Don't you guys agree? Dual blades afterwards? Some weapons that I don't always take a look at. Here's Black Belt right here. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's see if we get Black Belt. Hey, we got it. Will PlayStation allow cross-platform in the future for Monster Hunter? Um, you know, I think it's not just... We, I think we... Did we just have Terra Boy and Hentra? I think we did. Uh, I'm wondering if we could let somebody else have a turn, guys. Here, I'm going to... I'm going to make room for others. I think we just had Terra Boy. Hey, it's Little Joker. How's it going, Blade? Let's go ahead and talk with him. And we'll collect all the harvest. Sweet. Yeah, let's try and make a... Uh, we, we had a run with you guys. Uh, and we'll be wrapping up the stream soon. So I want to see if we can get some other people in to give them a chance to play live. Hentra rejoined. <laughs> Hentra's like, did you mean to boot me? <laughs> Blade withdrew. Hentra, I knew we just ran with you, didn't we? Oh, we actually don't have too many people in here. So here are the people who can join. Nick, they can join. Nick, Odeon, Blade, Hentra, Terraboy, Lag, I Bulky, or L Bulky. No, wait, it's Ibuki. I'm sorry, I read it totally wrong. And Leaf. Let's get some people in who haven't had a turn. Nick TDS. Nick Team, uh, team Darkseid? <laughs> Ibuki. Is Fire and Ice Dual Blade still good in Iceborne? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure not. <laughs> Actually, you know, they have the uh, st Silver and Gold Raytheon. Large equipment. None of the old high rank weapons will be any good. What did he say? He said Fire and Ice. That's, that's a high rank weapon. All the fire... All the um, high rank weapons are obsolete. Where was that even? It's down here. Yeah, Fire and Ice should be... Oh, oh, it received an upgrade. Oh, I don't know then. The problem with the, problem with the um, Blizzard and Blaze, I guess is what it's called now. The problem with that one, as well as this other dual weapon. Let's scroll up to it. Where is it? Where is it hiding? Here it is. So the problem with that one and this one is you're only getting half of the fire and half of the poison listed because you're only getting, it's only being applied each time one of the dual blades is striking the monster. So you're not getting as much as you think from those. 
All right, we're ready up. There's an extra spot. Whoever joins next can just have that spot. Is Terry using longsword? Ew. Blizzard and Blaze is a poo poo, <laughs> says God Terror Boy. Well, there you go, guys. Dual Blaze uh, along with the bow and the. Um, uh, there's a few weapons, uh, sword and shield. I really haven't touched them, so I, I'm trying not to give too much commentary on them till I've had more experience with them. I've been playing a lot with the heavy bow guns and the hammers and the hunting horns and the great sword. Uh, and we've touched some other weapons like the insect glaive and all that, but uh, and and uh, the longsword actually we spent a lot of time with the longsword on the PlayStation. Double element is trash. <laughs> Whoa, there he is once again. I did not mean to flash him at all. The stupid bugs were there. I don't know how I just got thrown off there. And I got thrown off again. Let's go ahead and have our max potion. We forgot to refresh our ammo. There we go. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. I guess we'll just play close range. I tried to dodge it. I think I got hit by Devil Joe anyways. Are they gonna turf war? I'm gonna go ahead with my temporal mantle here. Oh god. All right, here goes. <laughs> right back into the wall. Ah, I missed. I'm out of here. <laughs> Gas stick is sadly out of the meta game. You're talking about rocket powered gray sword. I'm sure that's what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So many roars! Oh my lord, dude. We need our dash juice. Wasting my temporal. No! Didn't do it. These roars have like some of the roars just have no wind up. Ouch. I'm in trouble. Dude, I thought it was safe. Oh my god. Oh, I should have tried to iframe it. I thought if I just roll under his tummy, I would I would miss the move because it would be his forearms. Now I know. Damn. Got fucking wrecked, man. Alright, alright. Let's have our max point. Actually, oops. Let's go ahead and refresh our items so we have those power shots. I'm sad. <laughs> I thought we could just roll under the belly and it would be safe. Jumped right into it. <laughs> That's apparently what I did. God, I should have tried to iframe it. Ray Jenks theme dancer get banned chat. What? <laughs> bow does does bow have higher DPS than light bow gun? That's a great question. Um, I think in a lot of cases it does actually. Uh, but the, the light bow gun has redeeming qualities as well, especially now that it's a lot more viable with the sticky ammo. Sticky ammo really has improved light bow gun and heavy bow gun. Whoa, okay. I 
like he's running off to find my friends. Yes, he is. Boulder already been dropped. Oh my lord. I serve look how much health I have left, guys. For those of you who are like wondering whether you should have health boost, I barely survived that move from full health, but that's exactly why you consider health boost, because it gives you a new health threshold to try and survive moves with. It happened again. Damn, same move. I'm still alive. Twice. I can't get away from this Ray Zhang, man. He's so aggressive. Oh, I'm and I'm dead. Oh my lord, it didn't matter. What was going on there? I was trying so hard to grab Ray Zhang because I wanted to throw Ray Zhang into I'm sorry, not Ray Zhang. I was trying so hard to grab Bracadios. Because Bracadios was up for being wall wall banged or whatever, wall splatted. And I was thinking to myself, it'll be so fancy if I can grab him by the face and throw him into Ray Zhang. I tried it twice and I got freaked up, man. <laughs> I guess we'll, you know what, we'll run him again. <laughs> yes, said. You aren't allowed to survive with the bow, just die already. That's a big oof. Oh, no. Now I'm sad. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> Someone throw a dung pod. Yeah. Maybe that would have been smarter. It would have been it would have been so cool though if I could have thrown Bracadios in, but you know what? I had evade mantle on, and I should have just been evading them and shooting them. If I had the temporal mantle on, then I probably should have attempted to do what I was doing, but considering that they're even fighting each other, it was just stupid of me to try that. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, let's do it again. I want to defeat them for once. We've we've lost it twice actually. It was a tough fight. Wait, it was on page two. We got one more. We got to win this time. Jesus Christ. I hope if they bring back Arch-Tempered Monsters for Iceborne, I hope they don't do the Arch-Tempered Elder Dragons. I want them to do all the Tier 2 monsters. So I want to fight like Arch-Tempered Bracadios. <laughs> Imagine fighting Arch-Tempered Rejang and they give him the Boulder Throwback, except it's like the speed of the Boulder Throw is like twice as fast. Than it, than it would be in a, a Monster Hunter GU. That would be insane. Did someone use a... Uh, they did. Alright, so someone used to... You know what? I'm just going to eat Feline Safeguard. <laughs> Both times we played that, we did not have Feline Safeguard. I'm just going to eat Feline Safeguard. Tag with it. So who do we have? We have Blade, Ibuki, and Abyssal for the run. Sounds good. Gotta up that bow dodge game. Well, and actually, I think a big part of the problem was both times I got slammed, I was trying to grab on a Bracadios' head. And then I didn't really think about it. The two slams would have brought up my stun really high. So the next move did land on me. And it didn't kill me, but it stunned me. And that was it for me. I, you can't be stunned in front of two monsters. So, yeah, I gotta be smarter. Fried rice for life. How's it going, man? He says hi there. <laughs> Especially since you can dash backwards. Arch Temper Dodogama. That's right. God Terror Boy says, I'm stream sniping. What? What coatings does that bow have? Um, Power coatings, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Arch Tempered Silver Rathalos would be cool. Yeah, he would. Oh, God. I didn't even think about that. Silver Rathalos and Gold Raytheon Arch Tempered. Oh, no. <laughs> and you have to fight them together at the same time alone. <laughs> And it doesn't matter how much divine blessing you have, they one shot. <laughs> Arch tempered Ruiner Nergigante with five more dive bombs. They could do that. If you think about it, it's funny, they have not released tempered Ruiner Nergigante yet. So I feel like they're doing that intentionally because they're going to release him later. And they're going to eventually release like super arch tempered. Did you reach G rank in GU? We did, but I didn't like properly play it. As a bow user, the most of your CC play will be softening an already down monster. We don't get to crowd control like the rest. Oh, there's Ray Jang. There's Stinky Jang. That's his real name, is Stinky Jang. Somebody's down there with... Uh... Let's go ahead and have our dash juice. I 
Use that demon powder too, why not? Wait, should I not already have pods? I feel like that would be smarter. Okay, he saw me, it doesn't matter. Don't do it, Abyssal. I warned you. There we go. I'm trying to shoot him in the head here. He's got a tiny head, man. Wow, you just get terrible hit zones on the uh, on the tail, huh? Even with it being softened. God. God. That's that move that killed me earlier. <laughs> Oh, I should have my coatings on. I'm so dumb. All right, coatings going on. Oh, he got me. Don't kill me. There's only two of us here. All right, let's go ahead and put on this evasion mantle already. No. Oh, we have feline insurance and feline safeguard. Hell yeah. Oh my lord. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Let's get our max potion going. Oh, he grabbed him. Lucky dog. Holy crap, he dodged with the dash. He's evolving. <laughs> Ouch. That's it. I committed to that power shot, and he turns around and instantly one-shots me. Not one-shots. I tried so hard to dodge that. The fact that two health boost allows you to live through that too is pretty amazing. Well, I guess it's a combination of health boost and having enough defense. God, it's so hard to shoot him in his damn little head. And you don't get good hit zones on his tail even when it's softened. So your best hit zone is actually his head. See, look, we're dealing 20s and 27s. Take this off. Ray Jang is such a fun fight. Is he though? Oh my god, I'm just timing it wrong. I wanted to dodge it so bad. When he did his arm when he pulled his arms apart, I could have actually sheathed my weapon and gone for the dive evade, but I wanted to iframe through it. Oh no. Just keep dropping knowledgeable, bro. What? Every time I watch him hold down the charge on the bow, my heart breaks. Let's jump up here. Rajang already came out. There probably wouldn't be a furious Rajang. Let's go ahead and drink this real fast. Boop. All right. Back in. <laughs> Man, Rajang's doing a number on us. Oh, he runs away immediately. Turf War. I'm going to let them mess with each other. I'm going to chase after Bracadios since they're having their Turf War. i to grab this real fast. Oh, 
That's KO. What KO'd him? Sticky ammo? Freaking Devil Joe, man. I'm gonna go after Ray Jang now. Fuck this. <laughs> so tired of Devil, jo uh, Devil Joe. He interrupts every fight, man. So Ray Jang's by himself down here, huh? Grab this raging material. Oh. <laughs> Did I get tremored? I didn't know that move tremored at the end. Whoa. Timing the uh, dodge through that particular roar, roar is so challenging. Oh my god. So you can actually just be outside of the physical range of that move really easily. He's going to jump. Oh my god. Fucking Donkey Kong. I feel like he's much easier with certain weapons. The bow is actually kind of challenging. Because you're not getting very good hit zones, first of all. And then he actually is able to zone you really well. Like, right there. See, that move is has it just has terrific range. Oh my god, I'm going to die again. thrown into a wall or anything. Oh my god. He is now. Wait, I didn't mean to use this. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> oh, we had the same idea. There we go. I finally used my, uh... You know what? I should get these close range coatings on. Freaking temporal mantle to the rescue. And the fact that a lot of his moves are physical moves, too. Oh, my lord, dude. Yeah. Uh, is, is actually very interesting. I feel like uh, he, he does put up a good challenge for the bow player. Because I've fought him a lot. God, these stupid things. I hate those guys, by the way. The, the um, whatever they're called. Let's go ahead and heal that last bit up. My evasion mantle. I wish I could put my evasion mantle on the wheel. grab this real fast. Oh man, if he jumped me right now. I wouldn't survive the jump, see, because you always survive with like one little hit. tell if it's worth it to go after his head it feels like it's not worth it oh man he's gonna come after me again and i'm gonna die oh 
Oh, the roar came out so fast. Let's grab the Slinger Thorn. Yeah, uh, the bow is so challenging for this fight because you don't have the greatest defense, especially if you committed to like a power shot. He can actually quickly turn around and punish you. Um, he, a lot of his moves actually have lots of range, good zoning moves. Jesus freaking Christ, man. Oh, I thought he was knocked down. He was not. Uh, you have a slower sheath time with this weapon. What else? Yeah, he just reaches you really well with a lot of... Oh, the fact that the hit zones are no good for this fight, actually, is a big part of it. Because his head is tiny. So the spread shot's not as effective against his tiny head. Uh, so you could do normal shots on his head, but that's not really good either. Same with his butt. So, like, his butt, obviously, we're not doing a lot of damage to it. And it's also kind of smaller anyways. You have to be really close in order for the whole thing to land. Wait, I'm going to go this way. Poor Bracadios is getting his ship pushed in somewhere by Joe. Is he really? <laughs> So, uh, we learned something new, definitely. Raging is difficult for Bo. Alright, we're back. Ooh, we're back and he's gonna one-shot us with the jump because we don't have cool drink. Woo! See, look, you get 34s on the head. So you should be attack- oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, no, we're fine. You should be attacking him on his head. This is it. I still fainted. Oh my god. I thought I could dodge through it. Oh. Oh my god. I shouldn't even be bothering. Uh, and like I said, we didn't survive it because we have no cool drink. Which apparently we have no room for anyways. Oh. This is so painful. Jesus Christ. Let's see. I'm going to drop the dunk pods. There's a cool drink. Oh my god. This is so painful. Awful matchup, it feels like. Hit him till he is dead is my motto. Alright. Let's head this way. Oh my dear lord. have our max potion too. I'm like eating a billion things. Yeah, I feel like I'm not even doing damage. That's the saddest part. Wait, where did he go? I'll follow Abyssal. Abyssal knows. Actually, he went up to the left. Oh my god, I'm so tired of you, Devil Joe. Devil Joe, you're the worst! There he goes. All right. This is going to get thrown into a wall. Oh my lord. I'm actually going to lose this fight for us. Oh man, this is really bad. His moves, I can't outspace him. His moves actually do really well. Uh, catching up with the bow in terms of space. See, that's what normally what you would do with the bow is you would stay on the outside of the... Uh... Ah, see that move? It just comes out instantly. Okay, here's the jump. Oh, nope, I wouldn't dodge that either. Wait, there's a uh, little dude up here, Abyssal. Yeah, you see it too. Oh, of course. <laughs> we could have had him knocked down. Oh, that sucks. I didn't even see it. I don't think either of us saw it. Just right past him, huh? I'm just going to shoot him in the butt because it's so hard to shoot him in the face. Well, technically I should shoot him in the arms. How much are the arms taking right now? Who roared? Was that... That was actually... 
God damn, dude. He's already wasted my temporal mantle. Oh, good job, Abyssal. I'm so tired of him running away. What is he doing? Wow. And it's gone. Nice job, everyone. Jesus Christ. That was so bad. <laughs> Woo. Clutch Claw the Butt. Is there any room in the server? And if so, can anyone tell me the server ID? Dash iframes used to be good. Oh, did they change the iframes on the dash? Where's Chokey when you need him? Just trap him. I'm surprised Jojo didn't interfere. Shooting his bum while he's in the ground. Why no capture? Mendo, ca Mendo Kusai. We didn't capture. Let me explain. Because we have a trap and trank bombs right here. That's why. I'm just playing with you guys. Um, I don't know. Why didn't we capture? I think I get so committed to like the actual fight. Capturing feels like... I don't know. Stopping short. Wow, yeah, that, that fight felt so awful. All of his moves basically caught up with my spacing. You would have to be really far away from him for many of those moves to miss. So Sticky Ammo does really well because you can actually back up pretty far from him. Uh, but the bow can't do that. The bow's kind of kind of got to be in a close to mid-range. And then oh, I was just taking tons of damage too when he did land a move. I was even saying when we went down into the volcanic region, I was like, he's going to one-shot me with the belly flop because of the, um, the heat damage. Flawless maintenance, elementless, and wind resistance vitality, and sprinter release. Cart economics. <laughs> Dave said, or Devin says dash iframes are still good. They didn't get nerfed at all, did they? I don't remember them saying that they were going to nerf them. Oh, man, that was awful feeling the whole time. Well, we're at 2 hours and 30 minutes. Maybe we should wrap up here. I was wondering if we should play one more, but you know what? I think we did two with the water bow, and we did two with the ice bow then. So, yeah, I'd say we wrap up here. We're headed toward 12 a.m. I'll do my other I'll do my other channel, I think, and then we'll probably wrap up entirely at 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'll go to bed, or 1 a.m. in the morning. I think that's fair enough. I tell you what, I'll go ahead and share a link to that, that other YouTube channel real fast if you guys are interested in joining us over there. i got to figure out how to change the stream type for the other channel so that we don't have low lat l low latency stream. I want low blurriness streams, and uh, I'll, I'll probably talk about that over there on that channel. But yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the chat. I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, yeah, so thank you all. We will move on to the other bows that we haven't worked on in the next live stream, and then eventually we'll be done with all the bows, and then we can move on to the next weapon category. What's your best rapid sticky build? Uh, it's going to be the Devil Joe light bowgun for rapid sticky, but I actually prefer the Ray Zhang light bowgun for sticky ammo. Okay. Hey, we got 120 likes. You're right. Thank you so much, everyone, for that. I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you, everyone, who became a member, and thank you for the generous donations. I, I appreciate all that. I really do. All right. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.